What's up, Fancy Beauties and Bows, Fancy Family? Welcome back to the channel. This is your girl, Gina. If this is your first time coming through, welcome. So today's video is a um, collab video that Sharon, she's so fabulous, is hosting. And she invited some YouTubers to come on and talk about their uh, decorative uh, boxes. So I'm hoping that what I'm thinking she's talking about is what I have. So she just wants us to come on and talk about how we use our decorative boxes. Now my decorative boxes are like jewelry boxes or you know something like that. So without further ado let's go ahead and get this video started so I can get to work and again welcome to the channel guys all right guys so here are some of the boxes that I have right here uh, right here there's three of them really technically there's three of them and I just have my little doggy sitting up there it's a bank uh, for one of the grandkids this box right here I've had it forever and I keep my uh, my niece's gloves. She's no longer with us, um, but it's just a memento from from when you know we had services for her. So I just keep those in there. The next box that I have is this really pretty, uh, almost like. Um, it's, uh, I don't want to say oriental, um, but, you know, it gives you that vibe, uh, especially with the writing here on it. So, I'm just going to go ahead and open it, show you what I got in here. And I use this for my overflow perfumes. So, just the little um, tester bottles or whatever, I keep those in here. It's the little spray body sprays I keep those in there as well and then this one I've had it for a pretty long time as well I'm going to redo these boxes uh, some of them especially this one but this one, my Jessica Simpson perfume came in it. And I didn't want to throw it away because it's a really sturdy box. And in here, I believe I just have uh, bracelets in there. I should have put you guys on my, my tripod. But I'm trying to do this video and get out on work on time. So I just keep my little bracelets in here. Uh, my bangles and anything else um, so I can just grab it and, and go. So that's what I keep in that one. Now the last box, it's not really a decorative box, it's just um, a gift one of my dealers gave to me and it just houses shower gels and I just kept it in here. It's hard for me to use stuff like that, so <laughs> I just left it in there. All right, so that is that section right there. And let's take you to the other part. Now the other part is going to be in the front room and then downstairs. But in the front room, um, my grandkids, you're probably going to hear them. So I apologize in advance. Alright, so this is a box that I remade. And it originally was, um, you see that material right there? That's what it was. And then right across here 
was a leather band and I just covered it with rhinestones but I keep our remote controls in there and ink pen and that sort of thing inside of it and that's the smaller of the one that I'm going to show alright so I'm not sure how the lighting is going to come off on here but this is the uh, bigger version of that one box that I just showed you and I don't have anything in here I'm just using this one strictly for decorations and I went ahead and put some uh, silver gift wrap paper on it and just used it for decoration on my little table my little tablescaping here as the entryway table so that's that so my last box is downstairs and that's where we're going right now and this one I don't know I, I guess I can say it's my favorite one um, this one also is a um, perfume box this one is Nicki Minaj's so I just have my Nana mm, coffee mug up there and then a little plaque that my daughter gave me and then this is the box um, that the perfume came in for the Nicki Minaj. So originally I had all my lashes in here. So now this is like my office um, my office box and I keep uh, little candles in there, my staples, my staplers in there and then uh, one of my um, external hard drives is in there as well. Alright guys, so that concludes my collection of decorative boxes. Sharon, I want to thank you so much for just being who you are and for opening up your heart, your life, and your family with us here on YouTube. I wish you all the success that God has in store for you. And from the bottom of my heart, I'm telling you, I feel like we are sisters and oh my goodness, if we could just hang out, it would be so marvelous. I too am in the North Carolina area. I'm in uh, Murphy, North Carolina in the mountains. And it's so gorgeous here. I get so many tips from you, so much inspiration from you. I've incorporated the stay positive at the end of the videos because I believe the, the world today that message cannot be put out there enough. So I hope you don't mind. I wanted to use that in incorporation with my ending for, you know, staying prayed up, staying fancy, and all that. So, yes, the world does need to stay positive, needs to stay focused on God, needs to keep hope alive, and most of all, stay fancy. All right, guys. Thanks for sharing. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye, guys.